Hello everyone, this is Mel from Sewing with Mel and I will be your host for this video from Got Interfacing. Today's video is about Lux Fuse. All right, so this is Lux Fuse. Let me read a little bit about it. Have you ever wanted a product that gave you the stability of Decaville Light, but maybe just a little more, but maybe not quite as heavy as Decaville Heavy? Lux Fuse is the perfect product. It is just a little bit heavier than Decaville Light and acts just like it. It's a great alternative. It gives fabric the same feel and amazing stability. So let's look at Lux Fuse, Decaville Light, and Decaville Heavy. All right, so here's Lux Fuse. This is Decaville Light. Almost the same color, but you can kind of see, you can see through the Decaville Light. There we go. You can see through it. But let's turn this around. Not so much Lux Fuse. A little bit. This is Decaville Heavy. Okay. Let's see if I can give you a good view. Oh, okay. There we go. So by this, you should be able to see the three thicknesses. Lux Fuse comes in 39 and a half inches wide, and that gives you almost an extra eighth of a yard, just in the 4.1 extra inches wider that it is than Decaville Light. Lux Fuse was created by Barb and has been in the creative stage for a very long time, over a year, just waiting to get it perfected and it's perfect, she got it. Let's talk about how to fuse it, okay? Always do a sample on the fabric that you're using, okay? Because things can change. Different fabrics, you know, different heat, different irons, different presses. Do a sample first so that you're not sad later that you messed up your project because you didn't do a sample first, okay? So 265 to 320 as far as your heat on your heat press, okay? You need to press it, not iron. We talk about this a lot, press, okay? If you're ironing, you're sliding it around. Press, lift, press, lift, okay? You wanna hold that though for um, six to eight seconds, maybe more. And if it didn't take the first time, try again and, and just keep trying until you get it perfect. If you're using an iron, it would be the wool setting that you would use. Now I wanna show you something. Lux Fuse, as opposed to the Woven, Woven Fuse or Woven Fuse 2, these are wovens, okay? This is not a woven. This has a, a leather-like feel, okay? You can see maybe the glue on the back. The glue on the back reminds me a little bit of um, Woven Fuse 2, the glue on the back of it. So you'll notice that they're definitely different colors, okay? And if you have a piece of fabric that's a little bit see-through, like this one is, that color is going to come through. I made another sample, here it is. Look at this one, same fabric. And what I did was I put Woven Fuse 2 on it and then I put the Lux Fuse on. And as you can see, it's a little whiter, okay? So keep all of this in mind when you're making something because you might say, okay, well, I need a certain stability and a certain structure and I wanna use this, but I can see through it. So you can mix and match them and put them together and get different stabilities and try to cover up the fact that it's see-through. When your interfacings come to you in the mail, they are folded up really nicely and they're all in plastic sleeves, okay? When you get them, unfold them. Unfold them and roll them up on a tube if you can. That's your best bet because it will help the creases to get to, um, to fall out of your stabilizer. Now, this would drive me absolutely bonkers. I'm one of those people that I, you know, I want it flat so that when I put my pattern on it, it's, 
it's perfect. So when I cut it, I like my interfacing crisp when I go to use it. So how do you iron it without sticking it to something? Let's go over to the press and check it out. All right, so I am going to iron this. I have it fusible side down. This is a fusing mat. Lots of different brands out there. This will not stick to the fusing mat. It will also, your iron will not stick to your fusing mat. All right, so I'm using my Cricut Easy Press right now. I have several presses, but we're going to use this one. And basically what we're doing is we're ironing it. All right, here we go. Now you don't have to move it around. And, and when I say ironing, I mean, you know, not like ironing. We're ironing the wrinkles out. It doesn't take very long. You wouldn't want to leave it on there a really long time. Um, my temp is at 320. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Nice and flat. I'm going to let it cool here just a second. Pretty hot. Look at See, it's not sticking. Look at that. All the glue is still on there. It's nice and flat now where it was not nice and flat before. And nothing on the mat. You can also use a Teflon sheet. I was gonna demonstrate that too, but for the life of me, I have no idea where my Teflon sheet is, but that's okay. I had this. Okay, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do, we would appreciate it. Have a great day.